in this discussion you can see what is difference between csv data file wise xml data file in case you missed previous discussion about how to create dummy records or in Odoo's terminology demo data file how to create demo data file please check link is given in description so in this discussion we will see what is difference between these two files to create records so you can see few difference and uh, and some pros and cons in csv file like you don't need to worry about the syntax we need to only add as a plain text so whenever we create any record in csv file here we don't need to worry about the syntax and all as a normal csv file like we are creating a records like comma separated so we have to add the same like that way only the thing is in first row we have to mention the colon names and then after the next rows we have to add records only separated by comma that's it and we don't need to worry about anything but if we see in xml side so we need to follow the xml standard like the parent tag then after sub tag then if sub tag having any sub tags then we have to mention that one then after we have to also use the attributes and all like if you remember like we created many records then after we created the view parts like kanban view form view tree view calendar view then after we created the menus we have to mention as a structure right right so yeah that's the main difference between this uh, csv file and xml side then after like in csv side relational model record will support for example if you want to create any record and uh, that record having uh, any relational field for example many to one or one to many or many to many then you can easily define using like module name then after dot and then the uh, and then the id of that record that's it but uh, in xml side it's also support all three relational fields apart only the difference is the syntax like in xml side we have to add some specific way then after if we see in csv side there is no any concept of the attributes so whatever attribute supported by xml side you can't see in csv side that's the disadvantage what i can see here in csv side but if you see in xml side like we have a one major attribute that is no update attribute that attribute is very useful like for example if you created a many data files or any single data file and somehow like a developer need to always upgrade the module so that time it will not load all the records it will ignore that xml file so that's the main advantage but in csv side you can't see that no update attribute at all another thing is so in csv side if you remember like we already created many records right for the specific model only so that's the restriction in csv side like you cannot create multiple records for the multiple models you can only create multiple records for the specific model so likewise if you see in xml side you can create multiple records with the multiple model so there is no any restriction here so in csv side like we have to mention the file name as a model name and that's the mandatory thing like otherwise it will throws the exception if that uh, the model is not found in the database then after like odoo throws the exception so that's the main disadvantage but if you see in xml side there is no any restriction in the file name like you can add the model name as it is like the csv side like whatever you mention in the csv side or you can create your own name there is no specific rules to naming of the xml file xml data file so that's the main difference in csv side and xml side then after like in csv side you cannot create demo data and uh, same like in xml side you can create demo data using the demo key in manifest file if you don't know anything about these differences you can check out the playlist like over there already mention each and every point real test cases for example in csv side like how to create csv file then after how to create records in csv file for example if you want to add relational fields 
like one to many many to many or many to one field you can see in the previous discussions then after like in xml side likewise the csv side whatever the csv side supports everything is supports in xml side then after you can also create multiple models record in one file you can also call python methods using xml tag you can also delete the record not only the single records you can also as per your requirement you can delete one record or multiple records so that's the main difference between the csv file and the xml side xml data file let me give you some overview in editor so you will get a more idea so let me go to here in odoo dash training and the custom add-ons like here you can see in school we added as a data directory and under the data directory you can see school underscore data dot xml file and now you can see in xml side like we have to follow the standard like the root tag is the odoo then after we have to mention the records itself like this way so each field means each colon like here we have to add name attribute and we have to add as a value here this is the unique id for this record like what we have a unique id in the database side like one two three four and so on right so we have to mention such id but not a similar one you can add like here and it should be always unique for the specific database then after in model attribute we have to mention the specific model like which models record you are you want to create so we have to mention like this way but if you see in the csv side this is very easy like you don't need to follow the standard in the csv side that's the main advantage like here you can see like you can see the school profile is created like this way but uh, if you see here in the hobby so here in the school profile you cre you can see here like we created two records like this way so that's the main difference you can see here like in xml side we created like this way but in csv side we have to simple create like this way so here like the first colon always should be a colon names then after we have to mention the values sub comma separated like this is the id this is the name then after this is the school number then after if you want to leave as a blank then you have to just use like this like blank and then after comma like this way but here in this record we create like we added as an email then after phone number like this way so that's the main difference between the csv file and xml side but you can see here like as usual in xml side having such attributes right like this id model then after name then after if we see here in this student data like we created as a ref then after eval eval like so on then after we have this function attribute like this but in csv side you can't do anything uh, there is no any concept of the attribute so whatever the attribute supported in xml side you can't see here and one more thing is the no update like this keyword or other terms like in xml side like no update as an attribute it's not supported in the csv side so this is the main difference plus you can see here in hobby csv file we have to you can see only the hobby list you can't see other modules records here likewise if you see here in the school.profile.csv file like you can only see the school profile only for the students you can see only the student profile only so in csv side like whatever like for example if you were to create 10 models records then you have to create 10 different csv files but if you see here in the student underscore data dot xml file you can just create one xml file and you have to mention only multiple models record there is no any restriction in the xml side and here you can see also like hobby then after school.profile school.student is the model name 
but uh, it, it should be a mandatory in CSV side but it but if you see here in the XML side you can add any name here the file name so that's the main difference then after you can see here like we we can call the Python method like this way then after if you see here in uh, you can also delete records like this way as a single for the multiple records you can just use like this way so these two main things it's not supported in this csv file so let me go to the front ends uh, let me go to the channel like here now you can see here the data file started with here like what is the the introduction about the demo wise the real records then after you can see like how you can create a csv file in csv file how to add a many to one field then after one to many field in csv file then after you can see many to many field in the csv file you can add then after you can create a simple xml file then after you can create a many to one field one to many field many to many field then after how you can call the record you can see here then after you can also delete a single record if you want to remove multiple records in xml side you can use this one then after what is the no update attribute you can see this discussion and the last discussion is how you can create a demo data file in odoo using xml file so that's it all about the odoo data files so here if i'm going to here in the playlist you can see here like the Odoo data files part 6 so right now we are working in this playlist and if you are not following this one but if you are following this one this playlist then it is also good because it will cover all the topics here so I hope you understood what is difference between CSV file and the XML file what is difference between like CSV data file and the XML data file if you have any query or doubt please comment below and yeah one more thing is if i missed any point spe for the specific csv file or, or for the xml site please comment below see you in next session